How you doing, YouTubers? Well, the remnants of uh, Hurricane Florence is uh, running through here. It's Monday the 17th, September uh, 2018. And what you see before me, this is a project I started quite a long time ago. Last year, I found two mini bikes and uh, down in the uh, lower, slower Delaware, <laughs> Local yokels know what that means, but uh, I found these two mini bikes. One of this one is a this one is a Manco. Uh, what the hell is this? Manco Thunderbolt. That's what this one was called, and uh, that was a cool bike in its day. Um, originally came with a Briggs and Stratton on it, five horse. Uh, had this gigantic gear in the back. It wasn't real fast, but it was fun to ride. Had you know, it's got a suspended seat. It's got front suspension on it. Uh, Hills, Auction, uh, Hills Auction, I picked up a brand new Predator 212. I took the 212 to work. I did modify it. I made my own intake for it. I made my own air filter for it. Uh, what I did do, and what I have been doing over the course of the last, I don't know, six, seven months, is making a rear swing arm for this. I wanted to kind of extend the bike, make it longer. I want to put an XR80 or some kind of uh, front suspension, an actual a better front shock system on it. This is just sprung and it doesn't have shocks on it. So what we're doing now is we're starting to tear down. I have these pieces right here. We're going to relocate the shocks, weld new brackets to the back and attach the swing arm. I got to cut the brake off because we're converting the disc brake. It will have, when I change the front end, it will have front and rear disc brakes. And believe me, it will need them for uh, what I plan on doing for this, the speed of this. Um, this motor's not done. I'm going to continue to work it up and uh, get it to going pretty fast. I think you can get these Predators up to about 20 horsepower. So I'm hoping to get a Stage 3 in it. I might even turbocharge it. I did find a supercharger. Yes, there is a supercharger. It's a small one. It's basically an air emissions air pump off of a Porsche 912. Um, Luckily with the root style blower you can actually put the carburetor in front of it and do it just like you would a car. Carburetors. Right now we're just concerned with getting the suspension on it and getting the bike 90% complete. But for right now we need to start getting this thing apart so I can get some brackets cut off it and figure out how to remount the seat. So let's get started. I also want to put another gas tank on this. This is a crappy gas tank. It's plastic. These were all stripped out at once. Luckily there was enough plastic for me to tap them out at quarter 28. Habitat for Humanity, C-clamp, nice one, four inches, one dollar. So, here we go. We got the uh, top shop mounts attached to this. Um, the video and pictures are sporadic, and we're gonna, I don't know how we're gonna do this video, but we'll get through it. Um, the swing arm is on the, swing arm is on the mini bike. It's welded up to it. The two upper shock mounts are mounted. And now we're just gonna mount the lower shock, the shock to the lower swing arm 
and will be suspended. And uh, then I have to modify the hub to fit somehow. And I haven't quite figured out how we're going to do that, but uh, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm hoping I can just flip the wheel around. It does have a bit of an offset and cut the excess off the tube and get it relatively close. I'll have to do some final modifications at work, but I need to get it mocked up so I know what needs to go where and stuff like that. So, that being said, let's weld up some shock mounts. This is raw engineering right here. This is inventing as you go. Um, I, as an R&D machinist and a tool and die maker, I spend every day at work, um, and this has been most of my days for the last 25 years as a machinist, uh, you invent as you go, um, and you make blueprints up later after you get done. Um, that's the design engineering process, guys. This is just a simple little way of fixturing them up. I know what the spacing is. The spacing needs to be identical to the spacing at the top because the shocks are symmetrical as far as mounting and top and bottom bushings and stuff. Just a piece of pipe with a piece of 3 8 all thread and two nuts. That's all it is. And uh, it gives me within 10, 15 thousandths I can be in accuracy. And, and that's pretty damn good for a garage build. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Step back to see the truth. Of 
All right, YouTubers. Here it is. Here's the mock-up of the mini chopper. It's pretty low. It's really low. Definitely have to do something about those pegs. The seat's gonna have to come back more, and I'm I'm certain we're gonna have to stretch this thing four inches. I'm six foot two, so. Uh. Well, that's it for me today, YouTubers. My back is done. I did something to it. Let me tell you what, 45 years old is a sucky age, man. God, I'd give anything to go back to my 20s. I could run like this all night. But uh, after putting in a 50 hour week at work and then coming home every night and working till dark and beyond on all these projects I have going on, my ass is done. It's Friday. I need to sit back, relax, and watch some TV. So, we're gonna edit some videos down. Make sure you guys subscribe, and uh, check out my Facebook, Roy Red, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.